you could buy those here, you would spend the entire food budget on them. Who needs meat, bread, or milk? Well, it's already milk chocolate, so you got it covered. You ate dark, but any other chocolate you can go with it? Yeah. Real chocolate is nasty to you. 70% dark is the best. See? You love white too. White chocolate is fairly sweet, but nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I like a white chocolate as well. Like white chocolate Toblerones. Mm. Almonds are like good for you, I guess. Yeah, and and salmiak also. A bit of ammonium chloride every now and then, just just good for you. Sweet and creamy combo, so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Can you get away with just one miner if you want to build into a mountain, or do you absolutely need to? Uh, you can get away with one, but it's it is very slow. The more you more you have, the better. You may have to build a uh, like a temporary temporary quarters outside if you uh, have just one miner. So you, you're gonna have trouble with uh, not having private rooms and stuff like that. When the guy takes seven million years to dig one room. Salt and sweet. That's where it's at. <laughs> yeah. Dark chocolate is more about how cocoa tastes rather than the sweetness associated with chocolate. Yeah. Well, for example, uh, in a hot cocoa, I also don't like uh, if it tastes too much uh, like the cocoa. I, I like like more um, chocolatey hot cocoa as well. Fruit plus nut chocolate is one of your favorites as well as strawberries and cream filled chocolate. Mm, you love kebab. <laughs> Thank God Berlin is full of very good dinner kebabs. Can't, can't argue with that. I, I love kebabs as well. And we have also a lot of those. Nobody in Throne Pain has a clue how to make kebabs. Ah. That seems like a hole in the market that you could fill. Start a nice kebab place in a ground game. Extra tour pose. Smash. I uh, I think we have something like that in here as well, uh, but it's not the same brand. Extra big bag. You could have been you plan to move away here as soon as possible. Same here. Everybody deserves a good kebab. And and good Chinese as well. Salted corn core scored in real chocolate. Hmm. Strange. Why can't you build? We're missing something. Uh, steel? No, wood. Let's clear out those. 
Jacob. Actually, uh. Mm -hmm. Go to see. Go destroy forest. Don't you bother with the walls in the private rooms? Do you let the walls just be ugly mine? Uh, for now, I let them to be. I I'm gonna change them into better walls when we actually have some rooms for people. We have to create takeaways in the UK. You do, Tretch. <laughs> you definitely do. There was some really good kebab in uh, Sheffield, and and fish and chips was also really awesome. Sadly, there's no uh, fish and chips uh, places in in Finland. I would love those. Working at the archaeological dig there, uh, and then getting fish and chips uh, from the nearby chip place for dinner was awesome and and cheap as well. Uh, I didn't find a good Chinese in in Sheffield. And I, I was looking. I went to like probably four or five different uh, Chinese restaurants in Sheffield, and all of them were pretty horrible. It's like everything was uh, drowned in sugar. Everything was like extremely sweet tasting, like excessively. And it wasn't. It wasn't too good. Some of the other food was really great. There was a great uh, Japanese restaurant and I think it was Afro-Caribbean restaurant or something. That was a really strange place, but <laughs> really good food. We went to the Afro-Caribbean restaurant with uh, another archaeology friend of mine, who's a girl, and it was just me and her. And uh, the owner thought we were there like on a, on a date or something, and he put some music on and brought candles to the table and all that. So I was like, okay, <laughs> we're just here for food, N not not for a dinner. Uh, I mean, like a date or anything. Kebab on a pizza? Mm, yeah, kebab pizza is great as well. Place near you, does a kebab, pizza kebab, yeah. Pretty much every pizzeria here does as well. Kebab rolls and uh, pizza kebabs and kebab and all of that. It's, it's hard to find a place that doesn't do kebabs. Actually, if you go to a Finnish, Finnish pizzeria, then th there's a couple of Finnish brands and local pizzerias, but those are garbage. Expensive as hell and not nearly as good as some proper ethnic kebab places. It's nice from the under with candles and stuff. Yeah, it, it was it was really nice though. It was just funny that he thought we were there on a date. Food was really good and the owner was. Definitely an interesting person. He had like pictures of all kinds of celebrities that had visited the restaurant there and in general was well a great person. Keep up in UK, it's only for drunk people. Nah, it was a uh, good sober as well. Grocery stores were horrible in in UK as well. Everything was like pre-processed garbage that you'd buy there. Uh, no, I don't want Java updates. Go away. Speed dial one. <laughs> You have a private Arabian restaurant here in my street. They offer the same food as KFC, but in cheap and, and in good taste. And they are so friendly. Yeah, yeah, Milford.
nothing beats a small oh, cheap family owned restaurants with fam friendly owners yeah definitely definitely there's this one pizzeria here as well uh, which we now pretty much only use well actually there's two pizzerias we use but one of these one of them is the oldest pizzeria in town and uh, it, it is really good uh, but the other one has really really good pizza and cheap and they deliver to our, our place so we use them a lot and uh, all the guys who work there are super friendly like extremely friendly well actually one of the guys who brings pizza is kind of sour faced bastard of the crew but the other ones are really nice always super happy and smiling and really polite and friendly Way cheap fast food like McDonald's or Burger King. Can't trust the company that screws up burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do like uh, going to McDonald's and Burger King every every now and then. We don't actually re really have like a. Well, actually, we we do have an amazing. Uh, burger place but it's it's much more expensive but we don't have like a cheap really good burger place in the city center uh, well we usually when we go out to eat it's usually at the city center when we are doing something else like going going to buy, buy some stuff or going for some event during uh, at the city center or something and that's usually when we go go to eat out and there isn't really a really good burger place there, a cheap one at least. Yeah, Mac McDonald's is not cheap in Scandinavia. It's it's really expensive in Norway, and it's also really expensive in here as well. In Finland, like a big Mac dinner or something like that is a it's like seven euros or so something like that seven eight euros at McDonald's when I was going to Sheffield we stopped at uh, Oslo in Norway and uh, I was kind of hungry and um, I was at the airport there and I was like, oh, there's McDonald's, let's go eat at the McDonald's. And I went there and looked at the price and I was like, yeah, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> I'll just wait till Sheffield or something. Or actually Manchester where the airport was. I was insane, insanely expensive at the airport especially. McDonald's burger for one euro. Yeah, you can get the, like the... One euro menu menu at the McDonald's here as well, but it's like a cheeseburger, very very mech cheeseburger. It's it's a big shame they don't do the cheese bacon burgers anymore here. Cash faction, <laughs> nice. What do we get? Steel knives, grenades, and pistol ammo. Whatever. They used to have this like a campaign for a. Bacon cheeseburger here, which was a uh, one euro, and then they, they moved to one euro thirty, fifty something. But those were actually pretty decent for a shitty cheap burgers. I, I ate like too many of those when I was working here uh, on an archaeological dig, so uh, it was easy and quick to go get a bit of burger. The excavation place was a. Uh, right next door, well not right next door, but very close and the, those were really nice to have get some salt and meat and grease when you're doing hard manual labor, digging holes 
Good burger is for Euro stops. Poland had really good food. When we did a, a road trip to Europe, we stopped uh, in Poland as well. And I, I really liked the food in there. Although, I, I, if I was in uh, Poland again, or uh, in Germany, or in Czech, or wherever, I wouldn't go for McDonald's or any bullshit like that. Because you can get some really good cheap food in those countries. From like proper restaurants. Prague was really silly in, in Czech. Because of how cheap the food was there. It's like, for the price we eat here, make food at home or something, we, we were able to eat at the restaurant in, in there. Yeah, there's about 7 billion people probably watching that at the moment, Yeren. It, it just, just, just went live now, so there's probably a huge, huge amount of people watching the YouTube gaming now. In UK it's uh, 7 euros as well, yeah. Let me see that, uh, Milford. That looks nice. <laughs> that burger. I should stop tr at Trondheim to get Norway's best burger. What makes it uh, the best burger in Norway? What's this game about? You are thinking about getting it? It's a colony simulation builder basically. You run a group of colonists who crash land to the planet and you have to build a build base, a base and uh, grow some food and defend uh, raids and all that kind of stuff. And uh, your end goal is to build a spaceship here to get off the planet. And it, it is really really good. If you are thinking about getting it I highly recommend getting the game. If you like, uh, like any kind of survival builder type of games, this is this is the best out there. That's gonna break, yeah. Hey Xenic. The cash faction is fleeing. Good. We got a new guy here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't have a bed here. It's baby's first dark fortress. Yeah, exactly, Darkwing. Exactly. Nemoria's great too? Yeah, it is. Although, I, I prefer this game over uh, both uh, Nemoria and uh, Dwarf Fortress these days. Because, uh, Ease of access and some of the other mechanics that are much better in this one. Like the combat system is far superior to anything in Nomoria or Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah, who needs clothes or food? Just get the game. Sit home, balls naked, play the game. You want to order a domain name? Any plans for the domain name? I haven't uh, looked at the YouTube gaming yet, uh, Xenic, because it launched uh, while I've been streaming here. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't really care to be honest, because uh, it's not available here. I mean, you you can watch it here, but you cannot stream from Finland. Or actually from anywhere really, other than UK and US at the moment on the YouTube gaming thingy. And by the time uh, it's available here and elsewhere, it's pointless to go there anymore because uh, it's already going to be saturated with other streamers who have basically cornered the market. So it's, it's just better to just stay here on Twitch 
and work on this this community. No point uh, moving to YouTube and start over there. Also, uh, uh, the YouTube uh, streaming thing has the same uh, content ID bullshit system as the videos, just running live while you're streaming. And uh, if you play any copyrighted music or anything, you get like a warning. And a, and a timer if you don't uh, stop the music or whatever. By that time, your uh, stream goes down until that music ends. Which means uh, playing a lot of games is uh, impossible on YouTube, YouTube gaming. Which actually is fu was fun because the YouTube gaming site had like a coming soon logo there, uh, like the heart thing. You could click on the heart and it played uh, music from different games or uh, sound uh, from different games like Zelda and Mario and other stuff like that. See ya, mysterious saxophone. And uh, a lot of those games, if you actually put on uh, YouTube or uh, do the YouTube streaming, your stream is gonna go down or your videos will be copyright flagged. It's so kind of ironic, like, like, yay, there is these games you can stream on YouTube gaming. No, but you're gonna get content flagged. And also, yeah, GTAs and many other stuff. He does have the advantage of having an instant payment model that allows us to support. Yeah, uh, it kinda does. Because you can get partnered with YouTube like instantly and get ad revenue and all, all that stuff. There was actually a kind of this ad thing for a Twitch. Was it today or yesterday? That will kind of try to show that please stay on Twitch we have lots of stuff here like lots of viewers and streamers and stuff and it showed uh, there is like 1.5 million streamers on, on, on Twitch at the moment and only 11,000 partnered streams so it's like yeah good luck new guys getting partnered only less than a person gets partnership on, on Twitch and everyone else is just streaming for free Yeah, yeah, Darkwing. There's always that uh, PayPal option and uh, the Patreon as well. Patreon is uh, basically same as Twitch subscription if you want to support me monthly. You can even choose the amount there and it gets paid every month. Make a Twitch cooking streams. You play a game and decide you grill some burgers. Well, you, you can actually just do a cooking stream at Milford. Now, you don't have to even play a game on the side. Uh, since the, there's the creative uh, section now on Twitch, then you can uh, stream whatever creative stuff you want there, pretty much. You actually could do uh, could do it before uh, as well, because uh, only a majority of your content has to be gaming related, but you can also do some other stuff, so you could actually do a, a burger stream every now and then if you wanted to do. I would do cooking streams if I had a uh, equipment and uh, proper kitchen for that. Our kitchen is very small and kind of annoying to do anything in there. I've been actually watching a few uh, cooking streams every now and then on Twitch. There's still this uh, one like mega hipster guy there streams cooking challenge accepted <laughs> if you did a cooking stream I'll show you how to use a microwave <gasps> yeah I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not a gourmet chef or anything, but I, I can do some food. I'll, I'll survive. My cooking skills were good enough to get me a lady.
the ladies man yeah exactly <laughs> like I said yesterday I was I never planned on having a wife or a girlfriend I, I was I was content being just alone bachelor for the rest of my life and just do whatever I, whatever I want play some games and then this strange crazy lady just somehow ended up staying at my place and didn't leave Yeah, accidentally. Cooking show about making tea? Ooh. By the way, can I have that tea? Yep. Also, you could also open the door. Infection in the kidney. Oh, hello. Well, tough luck. Yeah, I don't think th these are gonna die. Yeah, they those are pretty horrible. Uh, Darkwing. Yeah, that pies up. Uh, yeah. You, you linked that one stream for me. It was a couple of weeks ago or something, Paizo, and that was utterly, utterly horrible. And I actually watched uh, the same stream a couple of days afterwards as well. Just to see if if, <laughs> if it got any better. But no, it's still the it, it's same thing every day. And it is just utterly disgusting. And even worse that there is uh, Twitch uh, employees there watching the same thing and doing nothing about the whole situation. It's just... Uh, I don't know, Ashton Nero. I, I would like to play it at least. I'm not sure if I want to stream it. It's a lot of reading though. Also, I have no money to buy the DLC at the moment. Yeah, pretty much, actually. Baiting people to donate. Oh, I made this out of steel. Oops. <laughs> Maybe you need to do the same thing, Rayman. Flash a bit of poop and uh, go cry on stream. Maybe that works for you as well. It's not just that baiting for money there. I, I don't mind that. I mean, I, I do mind that as well, but just having the whole uh, donation reader on the stream and having uh, all kinds of racism and bullshit being read aloud there and no one does anything about that. It's. And that's that's been like on the top 5 or 10 streams on Twitch. And also partner as well. I guess uh, that's the quality of streaming Twitch is looking for. Poops and bullshit like that. We need to actually add some heater heaters in here as well. Preferably before it gets too cold. Ooh. 
Yeah, that too, Darkwing. It's pretty sad. What are you guys doing here? Still a uh, infection? Yeah, yeah. It's like telling the beast. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, but if you ignore like the esports uh, big streams. The rest of the top is usually well. No, there is actually really good uh, streamers on the top as well. There's a reason why they are there, but there there is a lot of not very nice things as well on the top. Make a grave or two to get rid of these uh, corpses here. Sweden. No, 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 no. We have a cannibal and a pirate merchant. And a clown. Let's sell these guys. Who has terrible mood? Geo. Mm, he's not gonna like if I sell these slaves. Oh, <laughs> Mopo is a nickname for a motorbike in Finnish. Let's see, Dulan the Surgeon. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we want Dulan. Yeah. It's fine. Of the Mopo. Another trigger happy, but both, both of them are optimist. Oh, it, it is a Finnish name. <gasps> this is probably a guy who bought a name in the game package for the game. A Finnish guy. Yeah, let, let's sell these. These guys are not gonna join anytime soon. Where's my, uh, oh. Where's the beacon? Here, that's wood. Oh, yeah, that silver is actually not in the stockpile. Move the stuff in there so we can actually buy one of the slaves. <laughs> Teletubbies made millions. <laughs> they probably did. Teletubbies was probably sold to like every country everywhere. Oof, traditional Finnish occupation. <laughs> yep. There we go. We'll buy the. Uh, doctor guy. Dylan, we'll buy him. Hello, a new guy. We'll name you. It's a unique. And change your. Job thingies. Really good anim animal handler as well. Uh, and a grower. And a miner. You're a really good, nice guy. There we go. And a new bed for you. Someone should actually go and make these beds. Like that bed. Yeah, Ryan, can you fix, fix that? 
Finally got the stone cutting. Uh, let's get that next. Hey, Dogugava, how's it going? Keeps on next colonist. <laughs> I'll try to remember random guy. Hopefully we'll get uh, more uh, people now. The last playthrough was kind of meh because we never got like any people. Where do we put these? Here. Got the results. They were shit. Got into college. Ah. Did you at least get to the college you wanted to? I took over. Then you're alive. That's good. Last week of freedom till you have to knuckle down and study. Ah. Oh, that sucks. Or maybe not if you are interested in studying. I thought you studied like hell for the exams and your uh, results were shit. Didn't even get to the college you wanted, got into a pretty good college regardless. Well, that's that's good at, at least. Selling those slaves may have been a mistake. Depending on what you are gonna be, you are gonna study. You might not have have to read uh, that much. You studied a bit, but you were sick during the entire year. Ah, that sucks. Well, I hope the college you got into gets you where you wanted to go. Good luck with med school without studying. You were three times over the limit for painkillers during the exam. I think you are a perfect material for med school already. You are already high on drugs. And doing a bit of studying. You are like a perfect candidate for a med school. <laughs> it's the truth. History, language, and literature is enough for me. I think that's enough for me as well, but it's probably not enough to actually get that job ever. Doctors aren't drugs, they give out the drugs. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, Dory. It's the perf performance enhancing kind of drugs. Uh, put it down. Thank you. Mysterious hand delivering tea again. <laughs> no, I, I hope it works out for you, Togugawa. And um, I'm sure if you really want to. Do med school or whatever, whatever you want in life. If you put your mind on it, I'm sure it works out in some way. You want one of the mysterious hands? They are quite handy. Let's put the Geo in there. And we'll move uh, Gorzi in there. Dropping frames again. Please don't have issues. Come on. I 
That's actually a lot of coursework with that schedule. Yeah. Unless you want to be a ninja shadow. <laughs> uh, that will take some special effort. Yeah. Yeah. Although, you do get a lot of pizza with that. So it might be worth the effort. What coursework might have a sign of suicide mission, but hey, I'm lead through worth. Yeah, yeah. Although, if you do go go to med school and uh, do end up actually graduating and everything, that tough work is not gonna end there. It's just the start of very very tough work. How do they pay for their pizza toe? I don't know. It's always late, so it's free. <laughs> yeah, that might be the other. That might be true. <laughs> so the trick is living in the sewers. There are several episodes where they go by. They're probably stealing money f money from the lady, April. Both your parents are dogs. I can see how hard the, the work is. Yeah. yeah. April is paying for them. Yeah. Yeah. They rope the food soldiers. Good old things. Are we talking about the version where they are robots or uh, not? Because uh, robbing the robots probably doesn't give you any money. Unless you sell them. Uh, as part. Although the new, uh, I don't know, the new turtles are probably some soulless steroid monsters anyway, so and who knows what they do for money. Those white eyed bulky monsters, this. They just made them way too serious. Turtles was never never serious. It's light-hearted, fun, where shit shit gets beaten with silly turtles doing some ninja stuff. You like the new TV series? Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen either the new movie or the TV series. Krang is the real hero in the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> He's pretty great. The new voices just don't match. Yeah. I really like the old... Uh, the old cartoons. And uh, I also really like the n old movies as well. They were cheesy as hell, but they, they were still great fun. Especially the third movie where, where they go back in time into the feudal Japan, I think it is, or China. China. It's just, just silly fun. First Turtles was uh, rather serious. New Turtles aren't serious at all. Michelangelo is the only one coofing around. See ya, Taku. And uh, under clown here. Gorzi needs to clean this shit up. Terrible mood times four. 
Mm. Do we still have chocolate? No. We are out of chocolate. Not good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get some proper rooms done for all of them. How many do we have actually now? We have seven people, so this is only six rooms. We need more. Danger zone without chocolate? Yeah, it, it is actually pretty bad. Five guys with terrible moves. And three of them potentially violent men mental breakdown soon. Are the material base made of uh, important? Uh, it adds to value. Uh, which adds to this uh, wealth in the room. But I, I usually just use wood because it's uh, cheap and easy. Well, six terrible moods. This is not gonna end well. Skulls of our enemies. <laughs> Seven. So everyone has a terrible mood now. That's pretty perfect. <laughs> Can't force him to bed. Only Geo is having a really, really bad mood. Everyone else is doing better. Blood for the blood cut, skulls for the skull throne. Yep. How long is this? Uh, two weeks. Was this changed? I think this lasts much, much longer now than it did before. Two weeks. Uh, it came from outside uh, Torik. There, there's a road uh, going next to us. Yeah, probably something like that, Torik. There's, there's been uh, some really idiots driving near, nearby now. Just blasting huge bass music and uh, just speeding like crazy. I don't know why. But yeah. Well, it's really annoying. Why is the mood down? We, we sold two prisoners. So that's why the mood is so down. And we don't really have any positive things. Slept on ground. Slept in gold. So we need a... Uh, we need all kinds of fixes for that. Like uh, coolers and clean up the shit and... Not coolers, but... Uh, Ouch. Trucks to a donut in the middle of Interstate. Yeah. With a bunch of hippies. <laughs> What's wrong with good fashion slavery? Exactly, exactly. It is really strange that they get massive uh, negative thoughts. Uh, Gorzi is praying. From uh, enemies dying, enemies being, being sold uh, and all that when they were just the guys who were trying to shoot you in the head and kill you. That is actually true, uh, Rayman. You get no uh, negative penalties from uh, letting them die. And if you have a psychopath or cannibalist, you can just butcher them for leather and meat. And you actually get no, no penalties. Ripping the heart out? It's okay. You actually get a negative penalty on everyone as well if you uh, rip the heart out. But this actually is uh, smaller than the selling to slavery. 
So it pretty much goes selling human meat and leather just fine, or using the leather to make couches for ourselves or ass hats. It's just fine. Everyone is happy about about that. If you sell their organs, that's a bit bad. If you sell them to slavery, that's that's the worst. <laughs> they just wanted to eat them. That's possible as well. Organ salesman colony. That was actually uh, a very very uh, good way to profit when the organ harvesting was added to the game, because there was no uh, no penalty for a. Uh, Harvesting the organs and selling them. It was added later on. And uh, in the alpha update where the organ harvesting was introduced, it was super profitable just uh, chopping every prisoner, stealing their lungs and kidneys and hearts and whatever, and sell them. I, I uh, used to just uh, rip every possible body part without killing them, and then I sold them to slavery or converted them into my own colonists. And if they happen to get into my colony, then they got their lungs and kidneys back. It, it was like a badge of honor. You can keep your lungs. My type of psycho. This game makes you into a very strange person. Jacob in there. Actually, nah, no. Who put Gorzi in this bed? Join us, so I want to give your lungs back. Yeah, exactly. Let's move Yero in there. You sure it's. This was their lungs or someone else? It, it was probably someone else's. So I didn't really keep tabs on them. Whose lung I was giving to who? Who know? You may, might have uh, traded up and gotten a better lung out of that deal. They're doing remasters of Turok and Turok 2 for PC. We need to start printing up this place as well. Build walls? Yeah, I need to build walls. Well, actually I need to smooth the floor and make it nicer. You might have gotten also someone else's shitty lungs. Yeah. So that's why I, I have trouble breathing and I'm asthmatic and all that. I got someone's shitty lungs when I was joining the Finland colony. Now everything is clear. We're gonna need more power, by the way. Yeah, it's not, it's not that fun. It, it doesn't bother me most of the time. It, it's only when you, when I do uh, like heavy physical labor or something like that. But it, it doesn't bother me like day to day. I, I don't need any medication for it or anything. Anything other? Any, any anything extra? Just have to be careful what I do. So I sit, sit, at, uh, sit on my arse back at home and play games. That's probably one of the reasons why I... ...turned out how I am. A gamer. Because uh, I was sick a lot uh, when I was younger and also couldn't do 
lots of the outdoors activities because of the asthma and allergies and stuff. So it's just better staying home and playing games. Should you haul all the chunks uh, before mining further? Mm, yeah. I, I probably should. I should also clean the shit before that. Let's actually do that. Let's just uh, move all of this garbage out of here. You're antisocial, so that's why you game. I'm... I'm on the same boat as well. Well, I'm, I'm not really antisocial, I just don't like people. And I, I get the... Uh, like this uh, social hangover. If I need to be in a situation with a lot of people, especially... Strange and... Uh, people I don't know. I get really tired really quickly and probably gonna be tired next day as well. You just hate all of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Ah, sorry, dead or. Another reason why living in Scandinavia rules. Nobody talks to you. Yeah. Taking the bus, but I don't sit down next to someone you don't know unless the entire bus is full. Uh, actually, a proper Scandinavian doesn't even sit down at that point, Paizo, if uh, the bus is full. You just uh, stand silently instead of s sitting s next to someone. Even then, you usually stand. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Avoid all kinds of eye contact. Because this room is horrible. Only one terrible mood now. You think you might be part Scandinavian? Even though you are 100% Dutch? Well, Dutch is almost like an honorary Scandinavian. You pretty much belong to the same group. High living of. Uh, high, high standards of living, good education, good healthcare, and all that stuff. You're you're pretty much the same as Scandinavian country, in in Holland. Kind of same with Germany. Uh, it's someone uh, who attacked our colony there, dude. Wicked crime lord. And alcoholism, <laughs> yeah, that, that also, that also. Germanic toe, even if you don't like it. Yeah. Seafaring nation, see? There's been a lot of mixing uh, culture 